Hey YouTube, what's up? Jonathan here from Ultimate Mac Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on how to get custom icons for applications, folders, whatever else on your Mac. For instance, Finder and Trash. Now I'm going to show you guys the free way, and then I'm going to show you guys the paid way, which is simpler, but you do need to pay. So first, link to the wallpaper and all the applications and websites mentioned in this video in the description so don't worry about that now the first thing you guys are going to do to get custom icons like this itunes one this skype one boxy frostwire first thing you guys are going to do to start getting those icons is open up your web browser and go to a site called interface list link will be in the description so i've already pulled up a set of icons for you guys now there are sets of icons and there are single icons. Doesn't really matter which ones you find as long as you like the icon. So here I found one called application folders and I searched iTunes and then in here it tells me all the types of icons that I had. So it told I searched for iTunes and this one has an iTunes one supposedly in this icon pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. Let it download. And there we go. Now, the other site that is good for icons is called Icon Factory. And all the icons are free. And then what you're going to do over here to download one is just come over here, click on the Mac one, or you can go into the icon to see a nice and big preview. So I'm going to download that one, download it as DMG. Let it finish downloading. There we go. Have it open up. And you are set to go. So now I'm going to show you guys what to do with these icons. Although before I do that, you guys are going to notice on here on interface list, it doesn't do this on icon factory. But say I find one like, I believe this one, and I download it, and it comes up as HQX. Now, I do not know how to deal with these files or any files that do not straight up download from the site from interface list. So unfortunately, you guys will just need to find different icons. I apologize for that. The second I figure out how to do that, then I will let you guys know. That is why I like Icon Factory better, but it's up to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my finder. And I am going to go and I have some icons that I have previously downloaded. So I'm going to go into these icons. Say I pick these. Now, so these are basically the icons. Now, the free way to change the icons on your applications is I'm going to open up a new finder window. Let me. Actually, you know what? I am not going to do that. I'm going to minimize Firefox. Open up a new finder window. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an application that I would like to change the icon of. So let's see, I'm going to change the icon of QuickTime, for instance. So let me go to QuickTime. And there we go. See if this is the QuickTime application. And yes, it is. So I'm going to exit out of that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to double click or right click, however you like to call it. And then go down to get info, open up the get info, and it will come up like this. So now I can close out of this. And then you're going to find the icon that you would like to change it to. So let's say this. I'm going to double click, push get info. And the way it's going to work now is I have the icon right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the miniature icon. And you'll see kind of like a bl uh, blue aurora come up around it. And I am going to do Command C, copy that icon. Then I'm going to come over to the application, click on the small application icon, and push Command B, and you will see it change to the icon that you would like to change it to. Now, to change it back, you are going to go and find the icon for the original and change it back, or you can just push Delete, and it goes back to normal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it, paste it, and then once you paste it, you can exit out of these. 
and then I'm going to search for QuickTime and go ahead and put in my doc so that you guys will know what it looks like. Sorry, QuickTime. Okay, go ahead, drag it into my doc. And there you go. It comes up with the custom player. Now, it may not show up in Finder, but when you put it into your doc, it will come up like so. That is why it's good to change out your doc icons. Now, that is basically the free way. Is by command copy both get infos and just pasting it onto the other one in order to get rid of it just do delete and you guys will be set to go now here's the paid way this is called candy bar and what it does is it is an application that manages all of your icons otherwise I do recommend to keep your icons in a folder named icons so that you have it for future use now this one also allows you to change the system icons, for instance, finder, dashboard, trash, and all kinds of that sort. Now I will be showing you guys how to do those icons in a separate video for customizing your dock, and you guys will see why in that video. So the way this basically works is I have all my icons down here, and I basically just click and drag the icons into this section. And then say I find an icon I would like to change, click here to get to my applications. Starts finding my application. Now, this does cost $15, or you can get the trial for 30 days. So, I recommend, or 15 days. One of the two. So, I recommend you guys go and check out that link and download the trial and see if you guys like it. Now, I have a lot of applications. So, it does take a little while to find them. So, I am going to change out my. Hmm. See what am I gonna change out? I think I'm gonna change out my Firefox icon. Find my Firefox. My Firefox little my Firefox icon over here to this globe. And push apply icons. Put in my password. And then it's gonna change the icons and then it's gonna ask me to relaunch my dock. And it did not change for some reason. Now, I do not know why it did not change. Let me try. So, it did not change for some strange reason. Okay, but trust me, it really does work. That's how I changed all the other icons. Let me try a different one. Change aim to... Or actually, no. I'm going to change... Which one am I going to change? See, I'll change iChat to this. Um pirate flag so there we go apply icons relaunch dock and there you go now it is the pirate flag I do not know why Firefox didn't want to work it's probably because it is actually running right now if you would like to change the icon you have to close out of the application before you do so so that's pretty much how to change the icons on your dock now if you do want to change an icon that is already in your dock in order for it to show, you're going to need to drag it out of your doc. Say I change my iTunes. Um, sorry. Say I change my iTunes icon. What I'm going to need to do if I do it the copy and paste way. Is I'm going to need to drag it out of my doc. And then put it back into my doc. And then the icon will show. If you have any questions about this, please leave me a comment down below. And I will get back to you. Thank you guys for all the support on this channel. And thank you for watching.